guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make one of my childhood favorites. It's hot chocolate. I mean, I know it's just about everybody's childhood favorite. It's my favorite because, you know, I remember sitting on the couch with my mom yelling at me because I was not allowed to drink hot chocolate on the couch and watching Home Alone for like from December 1st to December 25th because it's just my favorite movie of all time probably and this is a drink in my hands with a mug bigger than my head watching a movie. The ingredients for it of course are super simple and easy. You're going to need some very good quality bittersweet chocolate and milk chocolate that I have just chopped up roughly. And you're going to need some whole milk, some heavy cream, some sugar, touch of instant espresso powder and vanilla extract. Now the instant espresso powder if you don't have it, if you don't want to use it, then don't use it. Um, I just like to add it because it's got a little bit of that you know, boom, chocolate in your face kind of thing to it. It really makes the chocolate taste like chocolate. It doesn't taste like coffee by any means, but it just really tastes fantastic. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. Can I use skim milk? Can I use half and half? You can use whatever combination you want, but this is my combination. If I'm going to waste the calories, I'm going to make it amazing. I'm going to make it the best hot chocolate ever. And the combination my mom uses is heavy cream and whole milk. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm just going to go to the stove to just warm up the heavy cream and the milk for a couple minutes just below boiling point. You don't want to bring it to a boil. And then I'll show you what the next step is. I heated my cream and milk just below boiling point and now I'm going to add my chopped chocolate. Oh, went all over me. My sugar and my instant espresso powder. Just a very small amount of vanilla because it can overpower. And I'm going to let this sit for about a minute and then we'll whisk it and I'll show you what the next step is. After a minute I'm going to take a whisk and I'm just going to whisk this together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on the stove for about a minute. I just want to heat it up a little bit more so it's really, really hot and then we're going to serve it and I'll show you how I serve it. That is absolutely perfection for me anyway. I'm just going to ladle this up. Oh, I can't wait. It smells so, so good. Oh boy, it's going to taste amazing. I might just drink the entire thing. It's probably not the best thing to do, but listen, once in a while a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. You know what I need right now is some whipped cream Except this wasn't rich enough, but like I said, if I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna eat those calories, you can bet you, you know what, that it's gonna be the best hot chocolate you have ever put your lips around. Guarantee it. Try that, and then tell me you're gonna go back to the packaged stuff. Go ahead. You can try, but you won't. It's like, it is the best hot chocolate you can ever possibly drink. And it's so easy. I mean, how easy and simple. Now, it is going to make a difference if you're not using good quality ingredients. So go, go ahead and get some good quality chocolate. Use that heavy cream and whole milk, and you bet you're, mm -hmm. that you're going to absolutely love it. To get this recipe and others, go to www.laurenegation.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.